All right. So I'm picking up on the whole gravity, gravity piece that we talked about. And basically, you have horizontal gravity and you have vertical gravity. Horizontal, ver horizontal gravity is, is, is what affects us as we move through the horizon, which is minimal, very minimal. What we want is to be able to increase our vertical gravity, our relationship with gravity that affects us vertically. And one of the ways that we do that is through ground contact time. Repeat that. Ground contact time. Because if you don't understand how much time you're spending on the ground, you ain't going to increase your speed and you ain't going to increase your vertical. Ground contact time is a big, big deal. Okay, how much time are you spending on the ground? GCT, ground contact time. So your goal is to spend less time on the ground as a faster runner, as a fast um, to, to get increased vertical. You want to spend less time on the ground. When you decrease your ground contact time, you're going to increase your speed and you're going to increase your vertical. It's just that simple. So. It's the time that is not spent on the ground that's going to make you faster or jump, or jump higher. I know I'm repeating this, but it's so important that you need to hear it in as many different ways as possible. The shortest contact time is going to allow for you to have the greatest vertical. Now, how we go about doing that, I'm going to have to talk about on another video. Because I really want you to get ground contact time is the key to you running fast and jumping higher. When you can minimize your contact time with the ground, basically what you're doing is you're increasing, you're maximizing your delivery of force to the ground. Okay? And when you deliver what's called mass specific force to the ground, that's where, the, that's where the dream, that's where the things that you want start happening, okay? So, I know it's, I said a lot of the same thing. You're delivering mass-specific force to the ground. How, how much time you spend on the ground is going to dictate how high you jump or how fast you run. So, when I come back, we're going to explore what is mass specific force now that you have some insights into GCT, ground contact time. All right. And I would suggest that you stay away from places like this because you never know what that food might be doing to you. All right. Go out there and test your ground contact time and see what you got. Later.